Over here in the folder pane, I want to show you how you can create an, an additional address book or a contact folder. You start with the default contacts, and I created one. It's called personal to keep them separate from my business contacts. How about if we create a third folder so I can show you how to create an additional address book or a contact folder. And to do that, you can go ahead and right-click on one of the folders and go down to New Folder. And then you can do it that way, close out. You can also come up here and click on the Folder tab, go to the New Group, and click on New Folder. It brings up the same window. Then go ahead and type in the name of your folder, Parte. These are my party people. And then down below, the folder is going to contain what? Contact items. That's the default because we're in the Contacts view here. And so to keep it simple, I'm going to leave it as such. But you can click on the drop-down arrow and choose something else, like if it's going to be a task item. Then down below you can choose, well, scroll down and select task, but in any case, contact items. That folder is going to be allowed to contain, and it's going to be stored in the contacts folder right here, or in the folder pane in contacts. Click OK, and parte, select it, and oh, I have no party animals over here. Well, I can go ahead and add some, one of a few ways, by either double-clicking in the blank area and start typing in their information, then click save and close to add them, or... If I already have some party people, like in my contacts folder, I can, oh, he's a party animal. Let's right click on Ray and to move him over into the party folder, go down to move. And there you go. And away he goes. You can also click and drag and put them in the party folder. And when I select party, okay, by default, they're going to be in the people view. And if you want to change that, because my personal favorite is the business cards, Come up here, but maybe for partiers, it's just about the people. And if you look like they're partiers, so I just want their pictures here and not their addresses. In any case, I digress. Click on the Home tab. Go to the Current View group and Business Cards. Great. We've got two. I mean, go back to the Contacts folder. And if you have a lot of people to move over, you can go ahead and after you select the first one, you can select it in blocks by holding down the Shift key and like selecting Homies which is a group where we can add more than one email address to that contact. So I can go ahead and do an email blast to that group, which we'll talk about in later training videos. So you can see all four of these are highlighted. So that's a block selection, or you can select one, do it non-linearly by holding down the control key and clicking on my Captain Peacock down here. So he's in blue, Barney Fife's in blue. And then I can right-click on both of them and go to Move and go to Party and they both disappear, or of course you can do your selections with the two here and then click and drag. I'm gonna have nobody here left in my business contacts because they're all partiers. You can also, let's do Harry Potter, click and hold down the control key and when you get to the party folder, well you see my pointer there and then you've got a fuzzy box below it and then you have a plus sign. When I go ahead and let go, it'll leave Harry's original here and then make a copy of Harry over in the party animal folder. And let's go ahead and scroll down to find Harry. There you go. So I'm going to right-click on him and delete him. And then if I want to move everybody back, you can click anywhere off to the side and do Control-A to select all. And then click and drag all of them back to the contacts because, hey, we don't party. But I'll go ahead and undo that and bring them all back. And what I want to show you is when it comes to creating new email messages, let's go back to the mail items here and double click in a blank area you got the two field right so when you click on it you can choose which address book the address book which contact folder that you want to be able to pull up by clicking on the drop down arrow and say "Woo, time to party let's go ahead and select those partiers in there and there they are cool now if you get a lot of address books and you're clicking on the drop down arrow and you're like i don't want to see all these different address books or contact folders pulling up under the address book drop down arrow like maybe just contacts, party, and personal. I just don't want to see them listed here. Then you can, let's click cancel and close out. Go back to the two dudes down below to go to our contacts. You can right click on either one of these, not the default one, because the default you can't hide it from the address book drop down arrow. So for example, let's right click on the contacts, go down to properties, click on the Outlook address book, and you see how you can't uncheck that? to whether or not you want to show this folder as an email address book. Can't do that, not with the default contacts folder, but you can do that with any additional folders that you created. So if I don't want that to show up in the dropdown for the address books, then right click on that, go to properties, and then Outlook address book, uncheck it, 
And then when I click OK and I create a new email message by double clicking in a blank area, click on the to button and how many address books do I get now? Oh, no parties, just the contacts and personal. And of course, click cancel, close out, and go back to the two dunes. And then to reset it to the way it was, of course, right click, properties. Yes, we do want that to show up this folder as an email address book, and then click OK, and that will now pull up. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.